Hi. Vsauce here. <gasps> My stomach's floating. Oh. Have you ever wondered how the universe began? And how is it going to end? Million dollar question. Whoa. So this is what's going to happen. The universe began in the Big Bang, which is a theory. Remember, it's a theory. And it's not being proven. How do we know how what happened 14 billion years ago? Scientist. We know exactly what happened 14 years ago. Because I know it. How do you know it? Because I know it. This is super right. Let's see the real thing. In the Big Bang, from smaller than an atom, in a fraction of a second, to bigger than the universe. Just kidding. Bigger than a galaxy. Can you believe that? Have you ever thought like the Earth so big? Oh my God, I have to walk five miles. From in a fraction of a second, from smaller than an atom to bigger than a galaxy. That's like faster than speed of light. So suppose you have a balloon, and that's the Big Bang or the universe. Okay. Suppose you have a balloon. Once you inflate it, that's the Big Bang. Now that's the balloon. Entire is the universe. So you put two dots in the balloon. Activity for you. Put two dots in the balloon. Blow it up. What happens to it? When you blow it, the two parts go farther and farther away. And why is it? Because you're blowing air. But in the universe, why is it? It's because of dark energy. What is dark energy? Scientists don't know. It consists of more than 80% of the universe. So you better know what it is. Find it out. Now, the second thing is dark matter. It acts like the glue. The glue of the universe. Can you believe that? It's the rubber of the balloon. That's dark matter. It consists of more than like 20%, no, less than 20% because 80% more is dark energy. So more than like 15%, okay? And the matter, the real matter we know about, like sun, star, and galaxy, and whatever, the energy is known as matter. I broke the suspense. Yeah, matter. We only know 4% of the universe. So how did it begin? I showed you from small particle to bigger than the universe. Galaxy. Just kidding. So, from smaller particle to bigger than a galaxy, energy was blasted into so many places. We did. It's questions like, was there time before the universe? There was a time before the Big Bang? Or what was the place where the Big Bang happened? Emptiness. Vastness of emptiness. Just emptiness. And what? I have to tell you that this computer is going to be moving a little bit. Because it's going to blast. Get it? Get it? Get it? Okay, so now, the million dollar question, how the universe will come to an end. Let's see. You know, the universe is expanding because of dark energy, which is pull act, acting like anti-gravity to gravity. Yeah, anti-gravity to gravity, obvious. So, what will happen if dark energy runs out? It will happen one day, you know that. And what happens? Dark matter is going to run out first, because we know that. Because dark energy is more than dark matter. Dark versus dark equal to positive, which is collapse. So there are three stages in the end of the universe. The first is called the Big Rip. What's the Big Rip all about? You wanna know? The Big Rip is, you know that the universe is expanding, right? While expanding, if you remember the balloon activity, two dots on the balloon. Now, when you expand it, all, along with the distance expansion, the dots also become bigger and bigger and bigger. So, in the universe, what will that happen mean? That means that the planets, the stars, the galaxies, whatever you want, is expanding. Distances are expanding. Sun and the Earth. Whee! On Earth. I can't see the sun! Where's the sun gone? It's too far away to see. It's because of dark energy. That's what teacher will say. You're like, why? Teacher's like, because dark energy. What is dark energy? Dark energy is the force that pulls things apart. What is the force that pulls the things apart? Dark energy, I told you. Okay, fine. A solution. What is time? Time is a period. What is a period? A period is time. 
the heck? It makes no sense. So back to the point. The big rip, the big freeze, and the big collapse. Everything collapsed. So the big rip is where ever all the planets, such as the balloon, the, the dot and the balloon, this becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And so the dark matter is not able to hold it together. It just blasts the big rip. Every single thing. It's also known as the heat death. Heat death. You know why? Because all the heat in the world just goes down. The sun explodes in the supernova. All the heat is just led away. And every single thing gets ripped apart and ripped apart and ripped apart until they just become atoms. Really, atoms. It's like the universe after it, all the gravity condensed and condensed soon breaks apart. So remember, anything that has a start has an end too. So, what's the next stage? The next stage is actually just a period which is about like 10 billion years or like 14 billion years the age of the universe because everything is just whoosh. Because you know, remember that 95 more than 80% of dark energy exists in the universe. So, the universe is expanding, 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 soon everything breaks and atoms are there, but the universe is still expanding because dark energy is still there. So it goes more and more and more until you see a hand coming out of nowhere and pulls everything in. This is okay. Dark energy runs out. So it becomes bigger and bigger. What's keeping it bigger? Dark energy. Dark energy is running out every single time it goes more and more and more. Dark energy runs out because dark energy is just energy. Energy will have to run out someday. The, the when the dark energy runs out, what happens? Atoms pull each other. Atoms and before the dark energy runs out are just pulled apart and apart and apart and apart. Electrons break away. Atoms just put in a nucleus and this and that and this and that and chemistry blah blah blah. So I'm telling you, viewers. So no. The atoms are coming closer because of gravity and electromagnetic powers, and the entire shell and boom, they create new helium and stuff like that. So the new universe starts. Boom, 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 boom. The atoms collide and create planets and universe and everything. But before that, before that, the universe collapses. Damn it, man! What's the problem with the new universe? Maybe what's happening, dude? But the good thing is, the universe will exist for about 10 million years before everything collapses. Because dark energy runs out. Not like this universe. This universe, dark energy exists. Remember that. 